problem I'm going to be working on today is a very slow coffee maker, less than two years old. And it's slowed down now to a, it uh, takes like 20 plus minutes to make a pot of coffee, which I believe was not the original design. Although we have been fairly conscientious about cleaning this, running it through a cleaning cycle with uh, vinegar, we're still finding that it is disappointingly slow to the extent that I've had to turn to a backup. You see, you're already getting, you're already getting this end of the cycle noise here right away. And there's, and there's the, the little announcement that, hey, the pot's ready. Uh, pot's not ready. Okay, my test run's about over. 37 minutes later, it's just now finishing. So we're going to take this apart so we can get it cleaned out and get it working right again. I'm going to pry these rubber feet off. Just a straight blade screwdriver. And underneath here, it looks like they've gone and provided some high security here for this uh, sensitive device. Because there's some, uh, some security screws in here. And the way you can usually defeat these without getting a special screwdriver, this one has a post in the middle. It's like a Torx. Uh, with a post in the middle, but you can usually get out the jeweler screwdriver or a straight blade in there and get them broken loose. Okay, with all six of these screws now turned out, you can just get a screwdriver in there and pry it out. And there we have the working mechanism in here. There's a couple tubes here. You've got a cold water in, coming in this way, hot water coming out, runs through this tube that's actually attached to a, this one piece, there's a heating element in here, resistive heater in here, that runs along this. So the next thing to do then, since we know we have some sort of a clog here, is to pull apart, pull some of this tubing out of here. And yeah, I can see some build up inside this one, this is the hot water. They just have these little clamps on here that you can get off with your fingers. And this is going to be a little stuck on. That's the cold water. And that one looks clean, as you'd expect, out of these little rubber tubes. Okay, so we'll just take these tubes right out. <clears throat> okay, that's stuck on there pretty good. But I happen to have eh, red angle pliers. Get underneath there, pry up on it. Okay, and it's out there. And I take a look at this tube in the light. Yeah, there's some white sediment and build up inside there, but not a lot. I wouldn't think that would be our problem. Okay, now the cold water one. Once again, got to get underneath it. There it is. It's a check valve, basically. So the cold water can drop in, but it can't get pushed back out. They want the water to go in one direction as it heats up and expands, and that's in the hot. So this is necessary. So we'll test this out, run it under a faucet, and make sure it is working, that we're getting it through in one direction. A fair amount of buildup inside this hot water, this heater, basically. The cold end, if you can see it, looks very clean here. And coming out the hot end, it's got to build up. So what I'm going to try to do is run something through there and see if we can clean that out. Because the cleaning cycle didn't do the job, so maybe a manual cleaning to get this thing working right again. Okay. So we've got this thing pretty well plugged up. So I'm starting with a screwdriver, a jeweler screwdriver. And it's on the exit end that it's really pretty bad. Let's go with one a little bit longer. Yeah, it's no wonder things just like totally plugged up. 
this is our whole problem here, no doubt. Okay, I'm actually turning this thing like a drill. It's a wonder this thing worked at all. Okay, another tool that works well. I'm digging this plug up out of here. It's a dental pick. Let's see it coming out. Okay, I've kind of had a difficult time making headway in here trying to get a dental pick or a small screwdriver in there to clean out the buildup. It appears that the buildup is in this area right here. So what I decided to do is take this heating, water heating element out. It's two screws. It's got just a little, bra a little brace, a little holder on here that needs to come off with two Phillips screws. Get that off. Okay, now we get it out of here. What I've decided to try to do here is just put some straight, pour some straight vinegar in here, right down the old tubule. See what that'll do. Okay, so we soaked this in vinegar, vinegar for a couple of days, and um, then I've run a, uh, a little piece of uh, wire through here and worked it a little bit. You can pour out the, uh, the vinegar and the water, the solution. It looks a lot cleaner in there. And I don't know if I have it all out, but I think I have enough out. So what we're going to do now is reassemble this coffee maker. You know, put that back in position. Put the heating element back in position. Now we had this <clears throat> this brace here, which has a couple grooves on it that it'll fit into. So get that back on there. Two screws holding down the little bracket, a brace. Phillips. Tighten those out. Okay, now come the lines. First of all, you have to have the, uh, this is the one with the uh, backflow device in it. That goes on the right on the far end. And of course there are these handy dandy clamps. Get that back over the top. These clamps are not real strong, so you can just do them with your fingers. Which I just did there. Looks like that one's in place. Then we have the other one. The one with the hot where the uh, the hot water comes through. Now forget this clamp. Back in place. Clamp down here. This one I actually can't quite reach. I'll get a needle nose pliers to get that down all the way. Okay, so I'm get I have a needle nose pliers here to seat the stone in here all the way. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we've got our tubing back on. Cold water line has the backflow preventer. One-way valve, check valve, whatever you want to call it. We're back here, we're back here. Okay, let's put the bottom back on. Mr. Coffee put security screws in here. I found some regular Phillips screws. We don't need uh, this device is not a highly secure, very sensitive instrument here. It's a coffee maker. I don't know who they're trying to keep out of there. 
guys like me, I guess, that fix things. Guys like me always get around screws like that. Always get around security screws. I have not had one stop me yet. Okay, let this back together and up there and we're going to test it. So here I am, now brewing an 8 minute pot of coffee from this Mr. Coffee Coffee Maker. And so you may ask, why, why even bother you know, fixing something like this? Just go to the store and get another one, throw it away. Well, I have a couple of reasons that I do this. Now, number one is because I need to. The newer product out here just doesn't hold up as well as things that were made uh, back in the other, the old way, back with there's maybe some durability, attention to detail, and made by free labor. Uh, today, products are outsourced; they need repair. The other reason is because I can. Um, I've always enjoyed fixing things, tearing them apart, seeing how they work, getting them going again. And uh, we've got this going again. Thanks for watching. It's time for some uh, coffee this morning.